Well, Americans are fed up and tired of having their government turn their back on them, whether it's sending money to Ukraine, to a corrupt government in Ukraine, or Israel, with no strings attached whatsoever, giving out cell phones and paychecks to illegal immigrants that are pouring across the U.S. southern border, not to mention the Canadian border, which hasn't gotten much attention. Americans are wondering what the heck has happened to their country. Why are Americans paying taxes in the first place? It's a great question. That question is what Anthony Hudson asked, and he's asking that, and he asked that on social media. He's a congressional candidate from Michigan's 8th District who posted this now viral video on social media. There's a lot of people out there that agree with not paying their taxes this year. And there's a lot of people that like to comment, you're just going to go to jail. Let's see how that works out for you. The IRS is going to come get you. <laughs> you know, our government is breaking the law every day. Constitutional law exists just the same as political law. And as long as the government is taking our taxpaying dollars and they're using it to give to illegal immigration, giving them the right to vote, giving them driver's license, allowing them to buy land, allowing them to buy homes, uh, giving them prepaid credit cards for those who live in hotels in New York, where veterans used to live in those hotels. Now they've kicked out the veterans and moved in the illegal immigrants. States like California and Illinois are allowing them to become police officers and carry a weapon while they're on duty. That's illegal. And you're not going to use my taxpaying dollars to pay for your criminal activity in this country. In order for this movement to work, everyone needs to get involved. Oh, well, they'll arrest you. No, they won't because they won't have the money to arrest you. They can't come after all of us because we have the numbers. So when are the American people going to stop being afraid? Stop being scared. Stop being controlled. Stop being sheep. We have a right to exist in this country. And with Bidenomics kicking everybody uh, while they're down, making it almost impossible to survive, you need to keep your money to take care of your family. Put a roof over their head. Put food on the table. Make sure you don't lose your car. Keep your cell phones turned on. Keep your internet, your cable. Be responsible, but don't be reckless. Paying your taxes right now to this corrupt, treasonous government is reckless and illegal. And it can be proved in a court of law that what they're doing goes against the constitutional law of this land. You won't get in as much trouble as you think you will. Stand up. Do the right thing. As for me and my family, we'll lead the charge. We are not paying our taxes this year. We are not giving in to the government's control. We will not be sheep. And we will not stand by idle and let them tell us what to do in the land of the free. I will be free. And Anthony joins us now here on the show. Wow, Anthony. So that video, at least just the one on X, has been seen 2.1 million times. Then on TikTok, another 2.5 million times. And then, I mean, millions of times all across the board on Facebook and Instagram. This has really struck a nerve. Why do you think this has resonated so much, not just with the people of Michigan, but uh, across the country? Well, first, good morning, and thank you for having me on your show this morning. Uh, I really do appreciate that. And uh, I, I just think that this is something that the American people have been fighting internally for a long time. They've been wondering, why am I paying so so much out of my paycheck? Uh, why is the government taking my money and doing whatever they want and I don't have a say in the matter? And that really struck a nerve with me personally because as a congressional candidate, I wanna do what's best for the American people, not only in my district, but across the nation. And one of those, biggest um, topics is taxes. And I put this video up stating that I was going to lead by example, basically. I was going to stop paying my taxes to set an example. And I, I did a second video where I actually tore my 1099 up on social media and in front of the people. And it also went viral. And I think people are now at the point where 
when their ears are open and their mind is clear and they listen to the message, it makes sense to them that, yes, our government is taking our taxpaying dollars and they are committing crimes by giving that money to illegal immigrants coming into this country or by sending all of that funding overseas to other nations and neglecting to help the American people right here at home. So that's really the message I wanted to get across is if we hit the government where it hurts the most, which is in their pocketbook, then they will be forced to either listen to us or change the way that they you know, run their budget and where they're sending that money. I don't agree with giving illegal immigrants a thousand dollar credit card in New York when we have homeless veterans that are out there on the streets. We should be giving that money to them. If we have it, we should be giving it to them and helping them get off the street and helping so many other areas in this country because we, the people, are now struggling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, one of the things that I've been fighting against for many, many years, both on this show and, and previously when I worked at Fox News and hosted those shows, and you know, was the military industrial complex, the massive, massive amount of money that goes into, you know, 800 now trillion dollar a year, uh, massive military industrial, con uh, you know, um, complex budget that's then being funneled right. off to places like Israel. Israel has a $200 billion surplus and a space agency. Um, and we are sending them another 17, another $17 billion while people in Maui can't get any help or assistance at all. The U.S. southern border is wide open. Americans are having to work two and three jobs in order to put food on the table. Um, and prices here in the United States have risen dramatically under Biden's inflationary uh, policies. So you're seeing this total disconnect. Now, when you're hearing from Americans, are they saying, hey, I'm scared, Anthony, if I, if I do this, What's going to happen to me? You know, is the IRS coming? We know that Biden hired another 80,000 or so, you know, IRS agents. Are they coming after me? Am I going to go to prison if I don't pay my taxes here? That's, of course, the great fear, right? You will be locked up for the rest of your right. life. There's one certainty in America. It's death and taxes. Right. You're absolutely right. And that is the biggest concern that the American people have brought to my table is what will happen if I don't pay? Will they put a lien on my house? Will they garnish my bank bank account or my, my paycheck? And, you know, a lot of these things are absolutely possible. And I tell people I'm not an attorney. I'm not telling you uh, that nothing will happen. I'm telling you that if we stand together and we stand united, we have the numbers. They cannot have, uh, they will not have the resources to come after all of us if we all pitch in together and do our part to stop the wasteful spending in our government. And, you know, just like uh, when you go to battle, you know, there are going to be casualties of wars, but when you have mass numbers, you typically win those battles. And I think this is a battle where 335 million Americans are facing about 1500 elected officials. There is no way that that math doesn't math up if you, if you look at it. And yes, some people will, uh, will will see that that consequence, but that's what the government wants. They want to make us fearful. You know, their fear mongering tactics tell us that if you don't pay your taxes, we're coming after you. And and I've read in many places that federal taxes is a voluntary system. I've read that uh, it, it's il it's illegal to be taking funds out of our paycheck like this, and that there's no legislation. We've dug into this. Uh, for, for months, and we have not found one piece of legislation that actually states that the federal government has the right to take our taxes out of our paycheck. We pay sales tax everywhere we go. Everything we do with our dollar is taxed, whether it's uh, shirts or shoes or hats or uh, video games, movies, going out to eat at a restaurant. Everything you buy is taxed, and everything you make as an employee is taxed. There's got to be relief there somewhere. And I, I think it's been stated that the government collects over $2.5 trillion a year in taxes. There's no reason for us to be $34 trillion in debt. Just got to manage our money better and reprioritize where we spend it. Yeah, amen. We on our show every night show the national debt clock here on our show right above our shoulder, $34 trillion, and it continues to tick up and up and up. The fastest growth ever in the American debt went from $33 trillion to $34 trillion in a matter of months under President Biden. That's the fastest Lunch. acceleration in history, which is unbelievable. And it, it really breaks my heart. I think about 
I think about myself, you know, like, oh, we're taking this big tax bill. We mail it off to Uncle Sam and it's gone in within seconds. You know, it's a split second, right. milliseconds it's being spent, probably being sent to Zelensky in Ukraine. Um, but most, you know, hardworking Americans, this is happening to them on a, you know, on a daily basis as well. They send in their taxes. They're taxed at a 35 whatever percent tax rate. And immediately it's spent by the federal government. It's not going to their roads and bridges and the infrastructure. It's going overseas and it's not being reinvested in the United States. I think Americans probably would feel differently, right? If, well, we're paying taxes like they do in Norway, but they've got, you know, healthcare system. Their streets are clean. There's very low crime, right? They don't have the problems. People stay there. They right. don't leave when they graduate high school and college in in, um, in Norway. They stay. They go to work in Oslo. They want to stay there and be a part of that economy. They don't want to fly and work in New York City. They want to stay there. That's right. So if you saw that reinvestment and that infrastructure in the United States, maybe we'd be okay with paying these taxes, right? I think for the most part, the people don't mind paying taxes when they're seeing the benefit of paying taxes. And, right. you know, I get a lot of stories sent to me on, on X or Facebook or TikTok, whatever, where people are telling me I'm a single parent to an autistic child and I've been denied benefits from our government or I'm a, uh, you know, two income family. We have special needs children and we can't get exist, uh, 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 assistance with our our children or. You know, I've been in an accident. I lost my job. I, I can't go back to work because of doctor's orders and I filed for unemployment. I don't get it because I haven't been off work long enough or this, that, and the other. And I tell people, I said, just look at those two police officers that were beat up in New York recently by right. those five illegal immigrants. You paid for that out of your taxes because you paid for them to get from the southern border to New York to begin with. And now, they were they were arrested they were released on their own recognizance there was no cash bond set up for them they were sent back out into society to go out and break the law again under a different name or whatever it is they choose to do everyone believes that these guys are on their way to new york do you really think they're going to come back for their court date next month no they're not they're going to go change their name get some illegal papers that show that they're no longer Rodrigo, but they are Pablo, and and then we're going to know them as Pablo in another state. This is what we're paying into. This is what we are contributing to. And to me, if you were to commit a crime and I let you in my house, I could be charged with aiding and abetting, right? Right. We are aiding and abetting our government because we are paying them to do these things. And as long as they're going to commit crimes with our money, I think the American people should stand up and say no. I'm not going to do it. I'm not contributing to your criminal activity uh, until you want to change the way you spend our money and focus back on the American people. The power of the purse works. You know, hit them in the money. We know this to be the case, right? We saw that with the Bud Light revolt. We've seen that with Disney revolt. Yep. We've seen this, you know, it actually works when you hit people in the wallet. Um, and so I want to ask you about what it looks like in the congressional district, the 8th congressional district in Michigan there in the middle of the state. Of course, you've got Saginaw, you've got Flint, um, but you're really in the heart of, of Michigan there. What are the people talking to you about? I mean, how are their lives been affected over the past few years? Are they working one job? Or are they working three jobs? Are they paying more for everyday items or are they now back to feeling like the economy is great? What does it look like there in the middle of Michigan? Well, to address the latter, no one's thinking the economy is going back to a great status here. Um, we have a, a we have a, a Democratic governor in Gretchen Whitmer here, and a lot of things that we're fighting here is uh, Whitmer passed a bill to have a, an EV, an electric vehicle battery plant, put in Michigan that's going to cost the Michigan taxpayers uh, 2.4 billion dollars, and no one wants to do it because it's bringing more Chinese workers to our state instead of American workers. It only created about 120 American jobs. The rest of them were Chinese workers that were become that will be coming into Michigan. She's also recently signed a bill for $127 million investment in electric school buses. And I don't know if, how much you know about electric vehicles, but in a Michigan, <laughs> a, few, a few weeks ago, we had minus 18 degree wind chill weather. And these buses are regulated to go about 78 miles in that type of weather. And this happens every winter here. 78 miles is probably not even a full bus route for a lot of these children. And we miss enough school as it is 
I don't need our school buses to be the reason why our kids don't get picked up and sent to school. So I want to fight and rebuke that and 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 make the American people here, make the, the Michiganders here understand how that is wasteful spending here in our own region. We don't need electric school buses, not to mention all the charging ports that they have to put up for these buses. The fact that some of these Teslas have been exploding in cold weather um, and, and the cold weather kills batteries to begin with. So there's a lot of things surrounding that particular bill that we don't agree with. Mm-hmm. Housing, the state yeah. of the, the state of Michigan has been is ranked number three in the country in the highest increase in housing in the nation. Wow. And it, 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 you know, I know where where I live. I've seen people whose rent went from eight fifty a month to fifteen hundred a month, wow. and it's the price gouging. And it it should be illegal to uh, have a landlord or um, an apartment complex or somehow go out and increase rent and take advantage of the of the economy and the situation because their expenses haven't gone up, but they're making ours go up tremendously. So you believe sort of a landlord increase commensurate with what's going on with inflation, sort of matching inflation, but not exceeding it in some sort of gouging way? Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Not to mention the potholes we have here on our rows. They're big enough to swallow a Volkswagen Beetle. They just (laughs) don't invest money in the highway or the infrastructure here in Michigan. Uh, the you know when it snows and they put the salt down and the water freezes in these holes and when it when it thaws out it expands the holes they're they're massive and and that causes us to have auto repairs on our cars or buy more tires than expected we have to use that money for what the American people paid into it if we're not using it for what it's for then we shouldn't be paying it until the government whether state level or federal level can start itemizing and showing every penny they put towards these projects. And if the one thing that we don't have to prove this would be uh, state and federal level audits. There are no audits that show where all this money is going to Ukraine. If we send $28,300,000,000, we need to be able to show $28,300,000,000 where it went, what it was used for. We're just handing it away. And they do that here in Michigan as well. We just hand it to our our local government. She does whatever she wants with it, and there's no accountability for where it's going. And I think our our state is declining rapidly, and people are standing up. And 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 I tell people all the time, it's not a Republican issue. It's not a Democratic issue. It's just an issue, and it's an issue that we the people must stand up and face and tackle together. And when we do that, we're showing unification. We're showing that we the people do have the power over state and federal government and that they do, we are reinforcing that they do indeed work for us. Well, you might have lit, you might have lit a match here. Um, have you heard it from any federal authorities that said, Anthony, whoa, 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 whoa. Stand, stand back on this. You're asking people to not pay taxes. Have you heard from the feds on this? And have you, what has been the response from just social media, people saying, are, are they going to do it as well? Or are you getting a lot of scared people? Uh, no one has contacted me from the feds, and if they do, I will use my First Amendment right to tell them exactly where they can put it. You know, <laughs> I, I'm not afraid. I, I'm not afraid to stand up. This is not just something for me where I have to worry about my consequences. I'm worried about the people's consequence. If we continue to do what we're doing, we will no ha- no longer have a democracy. We are leaning more and more and more towards a dictatorship in this country somebody has to stand up and be the tip of the sword. And that is why I joined in to the presidential race back in August of 2022. I was running for president of the United States, and then I saw the corruption. I saw how they put restrictions and guidelines on people like me or people like you to prevent us from running for that office. And then I was approached by the GOP here in Michigan. They said, listen, you can't win the presidential seat. You don't have the money. You don't have the name. uh, But your congressional seat is wide open because the incumbent is not seeking reelection. He's a Democrat. He's not seeking reelection. We want to get behind you to turn your district red and we will support you because we like your videos. We like your stance. And we believe that since you're only running up against one other person, you can win this fight and getting you into Congress where you can uh, have a say on the laws that are written. You can vote for the laws that help the people, vote against the laws that don't help the people, uh, vote on all these topics. You could be more beneficial in Washington than sitting as president because we all know Congress controls the laws of the land. So 
they persuaded me and I agreed and jumped on board. And now we're running for Congress here in Michigan, hoping to make a difference. But we could use help from all over the country. We could, you know, we ask people from all over the country to donate, you know, a cup of coffee, five dollars, seven dollars, you know, help us win this district and I will help you have a better quality of life in the end. Well, the House of Representatives can, can, you know, controls the purse strings in the United States. Um, and so we'll see. Tip of the spear. Anthony Hudson, we appreciate you joining us. Good luck to you there in Michigan. Um, I think this is a fascinating movement. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if it ends up like the Whiskey Rebellion and George Washington riding on horseback out to Pittsburgh to squash the uh, I'm not going to pay whiskey taxes. Maybe Joe Biden will hop right. on horse, horseback, ride out to you in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, and, you know, remember, we did this. Uh, we did this before over a tax on tea, right? A tax on tea. Now we need to stand up and do it on the tax on the American people. This is much bigger than that. Uh, this is the future of our country. This is the direction we're heading. If we don't stand up now, we will never be able to put people before politics. And that's really our stance here is putting the people before the politics in this country and, and helping us. We have a right to survive here. So. Well, I'd love to hear from our viewers on this. Drop us a comment below this video. Are you planning on standing there and, and saying no to taxes? I'd love to hear from our viewers as well on this. Anthony, great to see you. Good luck to you there in Michigan, and thanks for sharing your message with us. Thank you very much. And if anyone wants to go and check us out, our website is anthonyhudson2k24.com. Uh, you can go and, and you can see all that we're representing and all that we're fighting for. And thank you very much for having me on your show this morning. My pleasure. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.